Welcome back to the channel everybody. I've got a real special one today, but oh, oh look at this beauty! But as I was saying, I've got a real special one today, but I'm not gonna do the typical, oh, let's show a little clip from the actual TV series. Oh, let's show photos. Let's do some of the speak from the TV series or from the comics. Let's get fully involved in this whole Batman theme. No, I'm just going to show you this car, put it on the track and end the video. So you will not hear anything from me trying to sound like Robin or Batman or showing you clips and things like that. No, that's just all so predictable. I'm not doing that. Holy slut cars, Mike! This is the original... Oh no, I said I wasn't going to do that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, now, so some will consider this particular car as the first Batmobile. In fact, up to a certain point, I used to think that too. Uh-uh-uh. The actual first Batmobile appeared in 1941 in a detective comic by Bob Kane, Bill Finger, and Jerry Robinson. It was this red thing, and the only thing that really showed you that it was a Batmobile was that big old thing on the bonnet on the hood look. However, for most of us not born 600 years ago, <laughs> I'm joking, um, we will consider this as the first true iconic Batmobile of our era. And I'm telling you, what a beautiful representation this is by Scalex Trick. Oh my gosh, people, this is the Scalex Trick Batmobile, the 1966 version. And again, you don't have to be into slot cars to want to own one of these bad boys. How beautiful is this? And look at the backdrop there. Very nice. I would say straight away 10 out of 10 to scale X trick for this whole presentation right here. No other brand does it like this. Now usually at this point I'd be taking it off its display but <laughs> this looks so good. I'm just gonna keep it on there for a little while longer while I tell you it has magnet traction I'll be showing you underneath shortly but it will have your little door for your little chip if you want to run it on a digital track but one thing to note about this awesome model it has front working lights but nothing at the rear Surrender Batman we're taking you in Hi! <laughs> You're just gonna love. You're just gonna love Batman back in those days. It was so comical. Uh. So, if you're a Bat fan, okay, and you love everything to do with Batman, the Batmobiles, and everything, how can you not love this? They've gone into detail. I might even say they've possibly gone into more details than standalone models that are not slot cars. And I've come to expect that from Scalex Trick anyway. But let's start on the wheels. Are you not loving how they've done the wheels? You can literally see the bat symbol right there. Can you see that? Awesome. Right, let's get even further into all the intricate details they've put on this model. So, right there in front of the windscreen, can you see that little contraption there? That's your bat beam projector. Although it's a multifunctional little gadget, it also serves as an antenna, it's also a surveillance monitoring system, and to keep it real, it's actually an antenna for the bat scope. Nice. Right now, let's get to the front. Now, I apologise in advance, I'm going to completely nerd out on this review, okay? Right, so, <laughs> at the front of the vehicle, it has bat ray projectors that will immobilise other cars. Also, right here, there's a rammer, but it's retracted. And although you can't see it, but please, stick with me, right there is a cable cutter. Come on! And as we move towards the rear of the vehicle, don't worry, we will get to the cockpit in a moment. Loads of goodies in there. At the rear of the vehicle, look at these bad boys right there in a nice silvery chrome finish. These are your missile launchers. <laughs> and you know, if this was a fully functioning model, as in if this part here could open up, that would reveal a computer system. Nice, even back then. 
<laughs> and as we get to the serious business end of this Batmobile, which is the rear end, right here, that menacing looking thing there is your turbine exhaust port. And just by it, you probably, I don't even know if it's on this model, but you would have rear facing cameras and you see these bad boys right here? There's one there on this side. There they are, look, either side right there. Those of you who are familiar with the TV series or the comics, inside those bad boys are power chutes. Brace for factor. <laughs> and then right here, that whole section there and that whole section there, that's your bat smoke emitters. Oh, how menacing does these missile launchers look? <laughs> and oh look, there's a tiny little antenna there. Right here, as you can see, you know what this reminds me of? This elaborate sort of glass system you've got over the top. Obviously there's an open section here and here, but it kind of reminds me of Fab One. You know that whole dome, almost a dome glass system right there. But anyway, naturally these are bulletproof. And of course, this being a Batmobile, this isn't any old windscreen. It also has a built-in display. Did you know that? Now, let's get involved with the cockpit. Now, it would be better if I just showed you a diagram because right on the top here, ever wondered what that contraption was? Well, if you watched the TV show, you would know. So basically in the center, I don't know how authorized this was, but you have a police light in the center there that flashes and spins and you've got two red strobing lights right there either side. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wanna get this thing on the track. If I was to tell you everything, the dashboard, the cockpit, everything within that section there, if I was to detail everything that it has, this video will last at least an hour and nobody's got time for that. So all I'm gonna say to you is you can see quite clearly there, you've got a phone inside the car. Now back in the day, that would have been seen as fantasy. How can you have a phone built into a car? These days, that will be seen as old fashioned. Isn't it funny how things just evolve and turn around and whatever. But anyway, can we have a look at the big man himself? That's the original Batman for me. That's his original look with that blue cape, that mask on his face, and the body, what he's wearing on his body, light gray, and you've got the bat symbol in the middle of his chest. This looks so authentic. I absolutely love what Scalextric has done here. The only thing I would say, Batman's missing his mate look. No Robin, it's an empty seat. Oh well. <laughs> Always. I think nearly always, with that exception, when it's a TV or movie themed car, Scale Electric does this very fancy sort of cutout of a logo or a symbol, and there it is right there. Looks absolutely awesome. And there's your little door if you want to put a chip in there. Right, 